if you bought an M1 equipped Mac along with a capture card with the idea of recording or streaming your gameplay, you must have thought about using OBS. In this video I will reveal all of the settings I use, which in my opinion, after a lot of testing, are the best for M1 in particular, but which can also be easily adapted to other machines with similar performance. Let's start immediately with the various devices I use, starting with the webcam. In my case it is a Logitech C920. 1080p at 30 fps is the maximum we can get from this particular model, and of course we set it that way. Pay attention to the following settings, in particular the color space and the video range. This way you'll get a very nice quality and accurate colors. Let's move on to the capture card and start with the video part. I use the Elgato HD60S Plus. Here it is very simple, just set the preset in 1080p. Obviously we must also think about the audio part. Here you just need to select the capture card as the device. If you need to add your voice to the gameplay, for example, I recommend to turn down the game volume by 15 decibels. This way your voice will be easier to understand. 15 decibels will fit well with most titles, but some obviously will require more or less lowering. You will need to check and decide every time. Staying on the audio theme, let's move on to the microphone. Here you have to select the one you want to use. Very simple. But be careful, depending on the microphone that you use, you need to adjust the input volume in the system settings, in my case in macOS. If you leave it at minimum, your voice will be very difficult to hear. If you set it at maximum, the audio will reach levels too high, resulting in a lot of distortion. For my microphone, a Samsung C01U, the best quality is obtained with an input between 65 and 70 percent. So consider also this detail. Let's finally move on to the actual settings. Here in general, in my opinion, it is important to disable the automatic updates. If OBS works correctly, this eliminates the risk that due to an update, more or less serious bugs are suddenly introduced, with a consequent loss of precious time for finding a fix. This is good advice in my opinion for any software you depend on. Update only when you decide, manually. In the output, there there are three very useful settings. The first two are meant to avoid unintentionally starting or stopping a stream, and the last to avoid unintentionally stopping a recording. Having a confirmation window during these actions is, in my opinion, essential. Let's move on to the stream tab. Here I recommend leaving it on custom and entering the data of your platform of choice, YouTube or others. Output is one of the most important. I prefer to use the simple mode. On streaming I set the bitrate to 8000. In theory, if you stream in 1080p, 6000 should be enough. You need to check how fast is your connection. This is mine. You can do the same test on the speed test webpage. If you have a similar connection, you can set 8000 for sure. As the encoder Software X264, which is the only one available at least on my M1. Audio bitrate at 192. The encoder preset is really crucial. I've tried them all, but the one that holds up best is the very fast. On recording, we can see that I record to an external SSD in high quality. Pay attention to the format. TS, in my opinion, is the best for two reasons. The first is that in case of any sudden interruption, power failure or other, the file should not get corrupted. The second is that after the conversion, unlike the others, it does not create any type of problem on Final Cut Pro, which is fundamental for for me. Finally, I set the encoder with the low CPU usage preset. This way I can make the machine work less, increasing the file size as the only downside. In the audio settings we find the sample rate at 48 and the stereo channels. Let's end with another very important one, video. Here I set everything to full HD, be linear and 60 FPS. At this point you have all the settings you need to record or stream with OBS. If if you also have an M1 or a similarly performing machine, I think you will be very happy with these settings. Let me know in the comments down below if this video was useful. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.